Good evening, America. I am your host, Lester Sullivan, and we are playing Who Wants to Be a Billionaire? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Millionaire. Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Let's begin. Let's bring out our first contestant. Well, Ryan, introduce yourself, please. Well, I don't really know what to say. I'm a college student. Uh, I like to drive. Um, any hobbies that are actually hobbies? Well, in high school I used to play water polo, but my college doesn't have water polo, so... Hmm, water polo. I did not know that horses could swim. What? No. Uh, okay, okay. Let's begin our show, right? Are you ready to play? Go for that million dollars? Oh, absolutely. Good. Now you know the rules. You have three lifelines, 50-50, phone a friend, and ask the audience, which in our version of the game, will be comprised of four experts in their fields, live via satellite. Right. Now, this being the 21st century, not the bloody dark ages who wants to be a millionaire, we will play our game through the frame of cherished postmodernism. Cherished postmodernism. Do you accept? Isn't postmodernism about not having to accept? <laughs> right. Except they have to accept the fact that they don't have to accept. Right. First question. Our planet, Earth, revolves around which heavenly body? The moon, the sun, itself, or Mot, the Egyptian god of order? That one's easy. The sun, B. And that's my final answer. Hey, you do not talk like that on this show, you bigot. What if someone didn't know the answer? You'd be alienating them, making them look like a fool. Sorry. Hey, if it was up to me, I'd throw you out of the show, into the parking lot, maybe put a bullet in your head. But apparently murder is against the network's policy. Thank you very much, Discovery Channel. Well, did, did I get the question right? Absolutely. You win $100. Happy now, you bigot. OK, next question. What is the atomic weight of uranium? A, 250.1123. B, 236.9772, C, 212.8545, or D, 238.0289. Really? That seems kind of hard for only the second question. Oh, everybody knows that. Well, I hate to use all my lifelines so early, but I mean, this is a, just a total random guess. Wait a minute. Sorry, dear, but I must go to war. Those Germans. Will you be back? Yes, but by then I'll probably have gotten over you and I'll be with someone else. Well then, there's something I must tell you. What's that? I'll always, I'll, I'll always... Love me? Remember the atomic weight of uranium. 238, or D on a question, if it's multiple choice. Okay, well, I'm off to go to the First World War. Hey, hey, what is this, freaking slumdog millionaire? Just answer the question. Uh, D. I choose D. That's my final answer. Are you sincere in your choice? Huh? If you can't know, the best option is to be sincere. I'm sincere. Okay, because even if you're wrong, if you think you're right, then the answer's right. So what you're saying is that uranium has multiple atomic weights. If you think that's true, then yes. That's the most illogical... D. Yes. D is the correct answer. You got the answer right. You lucky, lucky man. Next question for 2,000 massive dollars. Which of these structures is one of the seven wonders of the world according to the Swiss New Seven Wonders Foundation on July 7, 2007? A, Taj Mahal. B, Eiffel Tower. C, Empire State Building. Or D, my mother-in-law's house on Pathfinder Boulevard. <laughs> and let me remind you, it's a big house. All right, well, I would say Taj Mahal, but Eiffel Tower seems possible too, so I guess I'll use my 50-50. Very well. Computer, take away two incorrect answers, please. Yes, Lester. What the heck? That's never happened before. Okay, just Taj Mahal or your mother-in-law's house. I'm definitely going with Taj Mahal. Final answer. What, do you have something against my mother-in-law's house? You must not like my mother-in-law. You must not like me. I am just choosing it because I'm choosing A. By not choosing D, you are saying that you hate D. Well, I want to get the right answer. Fine. It is correct. Next question for 5,000. The Holocaust can best be described as A. Tragic. 
D, myth. C, evil. Or D, natural selection. Who is the moron who came up with that question? I did. Sorry. Uh, okay, well, I think I know the answer, but knowing this crazy show and the fact that it deals with ethics and not facts, I guess I'll go with Ask the Experts. Very well. Our experts are Terence Frederick, a postmodern philosopher, Nicholas Cage, spelled with a K, an empirical scientist, Howard Nixon, a psychological therapist, and Rhonda Byrne, the author of the fabulously smart, smart, smart book, The Secret. Experts, your answers please. It's tragic. That many people dying? It had to have been a tragedy. And the most tragic part is that the Nazis were right in doing what they had to do to further their own ideals, but tragic because it ended up being the death of so many people. Tragic. Well, I think it's natural selection. Humans only react based on their survival instincts. The Nazis only killed those people because they thought they would be killed anyways for their beliefs. So natural selection is my answer. Nature takes its course and the strongest survive. I'm going tragic as well. You see, calling someone evil is nobody's right. Plus, evil does not exist. Bad things happen to good people and it's tragic. The Nazis are not evil, but they are tragic of how good people can do destructive things. And the victims would much rather think of themselves as victims of a tragedy than as the result of an evil act. Tragic gets more empathy. Well, I don't believe in bad things. If you don't believe in bad things, nothing bad will happen, right? If you wish for good things to happen, the universe will take in your wish and make those things happen, if you wish hard enough. So I think the Holocaust was a myth. Um, I think it was World War II to sound like it was over something other than oil. Is she serious? Apparently. You know, screw this. I'm going with my gut instinct. Hitler did an evil thing. The Holocaust was an evil act. So C, that's my final answer. Well, Ryan, I'm sorry you have to go home so early, but... What? C is correct? Well, lucky you. In all this time, I thought the Christians made up evil just to make their religion sound more plausible. Well, Christians aren't the only ones that believe in evil. Let's move on. 